Hey everyone, this is my series to get to 2k ELO on chess.com and we're currently at 1606. I actually recorded several games and was getting a bit frustrated about how well my opponents were playing. So I've decided to just do 10 minutes flat, do some rapid uh, chess where it's a bit quicker. And I'm not saying people are cheating, but if they are, it'll be a little bit harder for them to cheat with 10 minutes flat. I will have to move a bit quicker in my openings um, so that I have time to play the middle game and the end game uh, because we won't be getting that increment. But uh, I'm going to try to do this today and see uh, see how we do. So we might be getting into time trouble again. But I think it's better to stick with 10 minutes. Um, I didn't experience really any any questionable stuff i've just been playing so many games and the opponents are constantly playing at a level well over 1600 so we're 1606 and we're playing a 1573 from poland lobanowski we will get into the javava and i'm going to make some quicker moves here if the pawn comes here uh we will save the knight coming here and Maybe put it on e2, like we've talked about in the past. Maybe the bishop will come out so that he can come here. And if the bishop does come out, we'll probably push here and here. Okay, he's just trying to stop my ideas. So let's put the pawn on e3. And if the pawn comes here, we'll come here. Okay, the bishop came out. So I think let's... What's the best way to do this? I want to support this pawn push. So I think... Um, h3 first and then we'll go here and i want to start trying to push with these pawns let's just take okay maybe put the bishop here and take this way or i mean i could come here I could also put the queen here but then he's got that now he doesn't have this queen here bishop here take take and we win a pawn is this bad i don't know if i go here he can come here and push he'll take this but we could also just castle i think this is okay yeah i i think if he comes here we'll just castle or maybe we can't because of this maybe i need to push this pawn actually yeah if he comes here we just put the put the bishop here and i think we're okay but this does seem like the next logical move maybe this is next we can drop the bishop back we don't want to go to these squares because then the bishop gets taken let's just pull the bishop all the way back I think he's going to come for this. Is it bad to have double pawns here? Okay, he didn't. I'm very interested to see that. Okay, so wait. If I go here, here, take, 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 I'm, I'm defending. Let's do this. Because he wants to come here. It's kind of like a, a Dutch defense, but moved over. Usually the Dutch is on this diagonal, but it's it's on this diagonal. Um, how much time we got? We're, we're equal on time here. Um so that's good um i need to try to explain my thought process a bit more so that you guys aren't bored out of your minds um i can also come here and i'm looking at this pawn that's what i'm sort of thinking about right now but the queen is defending it so i don't think that's going to work let's okay take take or oh, no no take and he, he comes in here let's just take the knight and he has to recapture so we've won a pawn, and he now he can't capture here because the pawn is pinned. But we can capture. Maybe we capture. And if I castle first and then capture, I capture with a, a threat on his queen, which looks really nice. So let's go for this. So I'm threatening to do this. He can't capture this one because we just take because he can't go here. He's going to castle here. I can't take yet because this is checkmate. I can push because I got two defenders, but then the knight comes here, and he has three, uh, he'll have three attackers on this square. Um, here, maybe I can push the other pawn to defend the one here. Yeah, doesn't look awful, but if he comes here, he's got ideas of this as well. Maybe I need to go here. Could also do this move. Could also do this move, or this move. Maybe this move is the way to go. So take, 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 take. Tick, tick. Yeah, we would be okay. Okay, I'm going to just put the knight here. I need to stop thinking too much about it because we don't have increment. So I do need to be a bit careful. Um, this looks okay. We also can't take here because the, the pawn is still pinned. I didn't even think about that. 
So he still went for this move. Now, if I go here, if I go here, um, can, he can't take, but he could, yeah, okay, I'm fine. I think I'm fine. He might want to come over or something, but we are up a pawn. We also have a check here, maybe winning this pawn. So if the queen ever stops defending this pawn, we can try to go for this. And and that would that would be nice because we'd still be defending here. He can't take here because the pawn takes. He can't take here because of bishop takes. So I think I'm okay right now. We got up a pawn and now we're just in a in a solid sort of position. Okay, so I want to check and win this, but he's still defending it. Um, is he going to go for some crazy kind of sacrifice? I don't know. I can also just take now because my rook is defending. I think it makes sense to take. Let's say I take and he doesn't have a check threat or anything. What does this move do? I don't think it does anything. I think I'm going to take. If he recaptures, I just I just win a, a pawn. Was not expecting that. So here, check. Here, he doesn't have he doesn't have anything. Don't think he has anything. I mean, I feel like I have to take it, don't I? What if I go here? Then he comes away. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. What is he doing? Yeah, I was like, what's going on? What was this guy doing? He was playing like a 1600. That's what he was doing. Um, let's see. Okay. 79.8% accuracy for me. And 59.8% accuracy for my opponent. I like to see that. He played like a 1200. I played like a 1700. So maybe this is, uh, this is the start of something new. Where my opponents don't play like pure computers. They play like normal normal people. I made two inaccuracies, one mistake and one miss. I definitely want to see what my mistakes were. I thought f3 was kind of strange with my queen here. It it did look a little strange. I think maybe um, if I retry this, is bishop here better? Bishop is best. Um, putting the queen on f3 just seems kind of odd. Now, let me see why is it odd, because I need to do understand why this move was wrong. So he could have he could have attacked me here, and I would have taken, and then he would have taken b4. I go c3, knight takes c3. Wow. Uh, if I take, he takes and he wins my rook. Basically, that's the idea. So he wins a pawn because of this. Because my queen is... Uh, over here not doing anything interesting little tactic so here um, if i block with the pawn and then he takes c3 i have to go d3 here he can just go a4 with a check and my king has to move and then he can go here and if i go here then he goes here and you know just <laughs> ugly so that was interesting so that's why you don't move your queen to f3 but he didn't see that, and thankfully he didn't. I put my bishop on the best square, put my next bishop on the best square, and we won a pawn here. We castled, which was not best. What was best? My best move was to take the pawn. I didn't want to take the pawn before I castled, because now like the queen can just like stay here, and I can never castle. That's what I was worried about. But maybe I can just come rook over or something. Um, okay. It was still a good move to castle. Putting his knight here was bad. The opponent, uh, this permits the opponent to win a queen through a discovered attack. How do I win a queen? Is it just this? Yeah, isn't that what I went for? I didn't. Uh, if I had just gone for this, then his best move is, is c6. And then I have d8, king d8. I have rook d1. I have king c8. And I have f5 check. And king here. And then I have a3. How do I win a queen? I don't see how I win a queen. It says c4 is his best move. But he's not going to do that, is he? He's going to come here. Will he not already come here? I feel like he would probably come here. And I would just take here. And he would take here. And then I come here. And game over. Um, Okay. Yeah, so I, I guess taking this pawn was good. Once those rooks were connected, I guess I forgot that the rooks were connected. Um, 
moving the knight here was actually an inaccuracy, but I wanted it here so that I could um, have those rooks connected. Yeah, taking taking here was actually a mistake. I should have. What's my best move? Check. King here. Rook d8. King here. C8. And there's no way to stop checkmate, is there? How does he stop checkmate? C6. Oh, okay. And he makes room here for his king. So I shouldn't have gone here for this. But I did take it. Which was still winning. And then he comes here and he just he just uh, FFs. So hope you guys enjoyed that game. Let me know what you think about playing uh, rapid speed. Um, just 10 minutes flat. I'm going to try to play a bit quicker than I have been. I've been playing Blitz in my free time. And I've been really enjoying it. I'll post some of those in the YouTube shorts for you to see. But I have some fun ones that I can upload. See you guys tomorrow.